Should note that tonight in the UK, Meghan and Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah now airing for the first time after airing here in the US last night. The world, of course, already reacting to what Meghan revealed about her mental health during that situation, her suicidal thoughts, and the most explosive allegation involving race. Questions over what baby Archie would look like, alleged conversations about how dark his skin might be. And today, Oprah Winfrey revealing more about what Prince Harry told her about those conversations. ABC's James Longman tonight from London. Tonight, America, the UK, the world reacting to Meghan and Harry no longer silent. That's the sad irony of the last four years as I've advocated for so long for women to use their voice. And then I was silent. Um, were you silent or were you silenced? The latter. Megan also revealing the deep loneliness, the isolation, the thoughts of suicide, saying she asked Buckingham Palace for help, but she said there was none. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. And I remember, I remember how he just cradled me and I was, I went to the institution and I said that I needed to go somewhere to get help. I said that I've never felt this way before and I need to go somewhere. And I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. The most explosive allegation involving race, questions about what baby Archie would look like. In those months when I was pregnant, all around this same time, so we have in tandem the conversation of he won't be given security, he's not going to be given a title, and also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? There's a conversation with you? With Harry. About how dark your baby is going to be? Potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. And you're not going to tell me who had the conversation? I think that would be very damaging to them. There's no way to verify these claims, and the palace has yet to comment. But Meghan says it was a conversation had with Prince Harry, Oprah asking him about it. What was that conversation? That conversation <laughs> I'm never going to share. Um, but at the time, at the time it was awkward. I was a bit shocked. Um, can, you, can you tell us what the question was? No, I don't, I'm not comfortable sharing that. Prince Harry and why he believes they had no choice but to leave. What I was seeing was history repeating itself, but more perhaps, or definitely far more dangerous because then you add race in and you add social media in. And when I'm talking about history repeating itself, I'm talking about my, my mother. Prince Harry and Meghan saying they still talk with the Queen, but for a time, Prince Charles was not talking to his son. My grandmother and I have a, a really good relationship mm -hmm. and an understanding, and I have a deep respect for her. She's my colonel-in-chief, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Um, she always will be. Your relationship with your father? Is he taking your calls now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. Um, there's a lot to work through there. You know, I... I feel really let down because he's been through something similar. He knows what pain feels like. And this is, and Archie's his grandson. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, of course, I will, I will always, I will always love him. But there's a lot of hurt that's happened. And so let's get to James Longman with us live tonight outside Buckingham Palace. And James, Oprah Winfrey today revealing more about that conversation that Prince Harry allegedly had about what baby Archie would look like, about baby Archie's skin. What more can you tell us? Yeah, uh, David, Oprah said today that Harry told her that it was neither the Queen nor Prince Philip who made that alleged comment about the colour of his skin, but we don't know who it might have been. A lot of people asking that question tonight, no official word yet, and a lot of Britons here tonight have watched that interview 
there is going to be a big response. David? A response indeed. James Longman with us tonight. James, thank you. And it was brought up in the interview and in James's report there, Megan's mental health. And we always think it's important to point out that if you are struggling with thoughts of suicide or are worried about a friend or loved one, to remind everyone that help is available, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. There's support there 24 hours a day. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.